Hey Leo, how's it going? It's Ann from Cancer Moons Tarot, and I'm coming at you guys with your February 2023 tarot reading. How are you? I hope you guys are well. A couple things to note before we start the video. If you guys are interested in personal services, products, and so much more, feel free to check out CancerMoonsTarot.com, link down in the description below. You guys can get the Star Moon Beanie if you're interested. It's on the website as well under merchandise. Uh, a couple things I want to mention though about everything is that if you are interested in personal services, please do be mindful. The only way you guys can get a personal service from me is from my website. So watch out for the scammers. I'm never going to DM you on any social media asking to read for you or asking for your money. So if you do see somebody impersonating me, please report and block the individual. I would gratefully appreciate that. And of course, I want to provide this information so nobody gets scammed. The only way you can get that reading or any personal service is from my website, okay? Uh, but either way, though, Leo, how are you? I hope you're doing well. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So... What do we got showing up here, please, for the Zodiac signs of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout February 2023? What information is showing up here for you? We did have three cards fly on out here for you. Chariot here, we got the Eight of Swords, and we got the King of Swords. There could be some situation occurring for Leos kind of surrounding about trying something new or moving to a new path. I think there could be some concerns or there could be some energy of overthinking here and you're wondering to yourself, is it the right choice? So you could be having some confusion around making a choice or confusion around if where you're going is the right place for you to go. Nonetheless though, let's see what we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus during February, 2023. So starting out with the overall energy, we begin this reading here with the Eight of Wands. Let's get two Oracle cards to back up this overall energy. And we also have here resilience and we have here owl. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Starting here with the overall energy of your reading, the eight of wands here for Leo. I definitely feel like this is movement. So things are moving, things are changing. You're definitely seeing energy shift moving into the month here of February. Now with a resilience card, it says rise above tribulations. So it's definitely time here to be as resilient as possible, to rise to the occasion, to rise above the challenges and do what you gotta do. Now taking a look here at the very next message we have, we do have here Owl, which says follow your intuition. So this is definitely a time here to follow where your intuition is calling you and where your intuition is taking you. So jumping into February, 2023, I definitely feel like many of you are getting this call to action, this call to change. Um, and I do feel like it's a time to step into that energy of resilience and to make sure that this change happens by all means necessary. So I definitely get that vibe where it's like, I can't back down. I can't quit. Whatever this is, I got to make sure that I commit to it. Okay. Having a look here now into the current situation for you. We have the emperor, we have the ace of swords, and we have here the ace of wands. All right. Emperor, ace of swords, and ace of wands showing up here for you. I want to say with the emperor card here, to the Ace of Swords, this is definitely about being in a position of power. Truth be told, I want to make sure that everything that I do is exactly in my image. I kind of feel like there is a very specific image you have in terms of your future of what you're looking forward to, and you want to make sure that you get to that path once again by any means necessary. So Emperor card here is like, I'm not going to fail. I'm not going to fall behind. I think you're very motivated this month. You're very much showing a resilient attitude, and you're following your intuition here because your intuition says this is going to work. So there's something that's going to work here for you, Leo, in reference to a new beginning that you'll be investing into. You just got a good feeling about something, and you need to make the shift. Hmm. So maybe this is about, you know what? I've been getting this intuitive nudge for a couple months that it's time to change my career up a little bit. Maybe you've been getting an intuitive nudge for a while that it's time to change up your environment and what kind of people you surround yourself with. Or maybe it was time to change your eating habits. Maybe it was time to change, you know, the type of, um, energy you put out into the world, like something here had a shift and you've been getting that intuitive pull to make the change and shift for a while. Uh, but now jumping into the month of February, it's like you're getting this intuitive confirmation of like, this is going to work. It's going to be the better option for me. And I need to go ahead and make this change. Hmm. Okay. Tell me more information about this change occurring in Leo's life. Clarify the eight of wands. And what do we have? We have here the hangman and we have here the queen of pentacles. 
Yeah, so this change is basically being initiated to move you out of a place of stagnancy. Hangman card showing up here for you is one of those cards that represent being stuck in some area of your life. So I feel like this change that's coming in here for you is to very much so get you out of a place of being stuck. Um, maybe you've been in a place where you've had a certain attitude or certain mental uh, mindset, right? That has kept you stuck. Maybe that's what needs to shift this month. Maybe you've been at a career or been involved in a job and occupation that's kept you stuck and prevented you from making more money. Maybe you've been around people that don't let you grow because their mindset is so low vibrational that it's hard to find growth when you're surrounded by those types of people. So it's like, I was stuck here and now I'm ready to thrive. Queen of Pentacles. Now I'm ready to be heard. Now I'm ready to invest into me. Now I'm ready for my growth to really come to term. So I like this for you. Jumping into February 2023, leaving behind whatever has caused you this significant lack of growth to move into a new beginning that's going to bring forth a lot of growth here for you in the month of February. So it's going to be really wonderful overall. All right, let's go ahead and move forward. Let's see what's potentially coming in here for you. So what's going to potentially come on in here for Leo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout February 2023. What's going to be coming on in here for the Leo gang? We got here a four of pentacles. Moving forward from that, we have a three of wands. And then lastly for you, we have here the ace of cups. Okay, so Leo, four of pentacles here to the three of wands. So taking a look at what's coming in here for you, the courage here to finally let go and to see what's on the other side four of pentacles is an energy that usually means that you're kind of in a bit of like a, an energy of recluse it's kind of similar to the hermit sometimes so four of pentacles can mean like you're just staying where you are you're staying in your comfort zone and uh you're not you know taking any kind of action but three of wands over here it's like i'm ready here to see what's on the other side you know if you look at the three of wands we do have this individual who's staring out into the vast ocean and he does see these ships that are coming to shore he sees his ships coming in but it's not about the ships that's coming in it's about what's beyond the other side of the ocean so you want to know what else is out there for you Mm -hmm. And with the Ace of Cups showing up here for you, Ace of Cups is a card that represents an overwhelming amount of uh, abundance most of the time, but it also could represent an overwhelming amount of excitement. It's that energy of getting excited to see what else is out there. So February 2023 is going to be a bit of an adventurous month here for Leos is definitely something I can see for you. And I think that most importantly... You've just got this confirmation consistently from the universe that where you're going is going to be working for you. You know, you've never had more confidence in something in your life or maybe in a while. And you're recognizing, I don't know, I just feel like this is the right path for me. And if I take a chance on it, I just know it's going to work. So there's something here that's going to work and you just have that gut feeling, you know it. And I think you're going to be very fulfilled once you take that leap of faith. Could be a new job could be new environment, could be a new mindset that's going to transform your life. But I think you just know that some change here has to be incorporated because it's going to better and improve your life very significantly. Okay. All right, Leo, let's have a look here and go forward. Uh, what do we got in terms of what can Leo expect now throughout the rest of their February? So what can the Leos here expect, please? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout the rest of their February 2023. How can they expect the rest of their month here to go? We have here the fool nice so you'll be taking this chance you'll be jumping into something new star card hello ten of swords and then the magician oh my god leo <laughs> really freaking awesome news so let's talk about it okay fool card here star card here taking action and guess what getting yourself in alignment okay so the star card to me is the card of alignment it's also the card of wish fulfillment so it means that things are coming true for you here your wish is coming true you know i think that once again you felt confident that making some change in your life is going to create success and you're going to start to see that success here with the star uh, with a star card now with the ten of swords here you know it does require an ending to have a new beginning with every ending has a new beginning when one door closes another door opens so ten of swords is representing the path you're leaving behind let's say for example for a while now leo you've been getting this intuitive nudge to leave behind a certain environment of people because you've recognized that their beliefs the way they behave the energy they bring to the table has kept you stuck it hasn't allowed you to evolve and grow maybe you were just around people who are way too comfortable or maybe you were around people who just didn't have a lot of hope and faith in genuine you know living a genuinely good life at the end of the day whatever kind of people you were around let's say this is the example ten of swords says okay I'm not associating with those people anymore. And I had to detach and break away from those people in order to align 
with the people that'll help me grow, with the people that are on my same vibrational resonance that are looking to grow with me as well. So that is how we're seeing it here with the Ten of Swords. You got to be willing to let go of whatever's kept you stuck and stagnant here so that you can align with what will bring forth this growth. So once you do that, Magician card coming into play here, you will manifest the path you're looking for. So if we're going back to that example of finding people that uh, that are like-minded and that are looking for growth as well, well, if you let go of the people that don't want to grow, you're going to attract in the people who do because you're showing the universe, hey, universe, I know what I want. I know what I'm looking for. Universe aligns it with you, okay? So you will definitely start to see that here jumping into February. Very good. I like it a lot. Moving on here forward, let's have a look here and see uh, what advice the universe has in store here for you for February 2023. So what advice from the universe can I give here to the zodiac sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout February 2023? Having a look here at the first card out, Three of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like Three of Cups to the Seven of Wands, this is about the universe saying, stand up for your happiness and stand up for your joy. At the end of the day, if somebody else doesn't find joy in what you do, if somebody else doesn't find joy in your path, or if other people are not on the same vibrational resonance, that's okay. At the end of the day, remember your happiness is what is important to you, and don't let other people take away what makes you happy or brings you joy and value in this life. I think that it's very important to note that your value value is going to be different than somebody else's value. So don't let anybody else deter you from your path of joy and happiness is what the universe here is saying. I don't know why you needed to hear that specifically, Leo. Maybe you were around people who weren't very kind about what brings you joy. Maybe they just would shit on your ideas or shit on what you like. You know, you could have been in a negative environment with people who just we're very strongly opinionated and the uh, universe is basically saying, hey, their opinions don't mean shit. Whatever brings you joy and happiness, that's for you. Don't let anybody else meddle in your business, okay? Let's take a look here at two more cards for advice. We have here the Princess of Cups and the Hermit card. Be careful who you give your energy to, is what the universe here is saying. Not everybody is willing to give it all back. Mm-hmm. So universe is trying to say not everybody has equal give and take. Not everybody is interested in giving back what you give and what you invest into them. So if you're noticing that you're around people and you're giving your energy to people that maybe aren't the best, it's better to leave that energy to yourself and give it back to you than to give it to people who aren't deserving of it. So don't overextend your energy to people who are unworthy. Don't overextend your energy to people who don't accept it or, or who do not provide equal give and take. At the end of the day, it's better to be giving that energy back to yourself and resupplying you than giving it out to people who just simply don't deserve it, okay? All right, Leo, let's go ahead and jump into the Oracle real fast. I wanna have two cards here for Leo for February, 2023. Let's get two cards here for Leo for February. All right, we have here Legends. It says, learn from those who inspire you. And then we have here one more card. It's gonna be Enlightenment, pursue spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. I love it, baby. I like it a lot. One thing I wanna mention, some Leos here with this card, pursue spiritual growth. Some of you guys in February are gonna start really opening up a much more deeper connection with the spiritual path you're on. This could be what some would call an awakening, a third eye awakening, a spiritual awakening, whatever the case may be. If you find yourself on a spiritual path and a spiritual awakening here in February 2023, what you might find is you might find people not resonating with the same kind of beliefs and experiences you're having. I think this kind of correlates to what I was just talking about when I said, don't let people shit on what brings you joy or your ideologies or your beliefs. What might happen here, Leo, is while you're going through the spiritual awakening, there might be people who just don't resonate with your path. And that's okay. Not everybody is supposed to resonate with your path. But if you have people who are targeting you or are making you feel uncomfortable or trying to make you feel some low vibrational energy um, based upon your own beliefs, universe here says, pursue your spiritual growth. And remember that growth sometimes also means outgrowing people and situations that don't serve you anymore. So if there are people here who cannot or who cannot respect, excuse me, your value, your spiritual views, your spiritual awakening, if you're connecting with people who cannot value that, it may be time to outgrow those people. All right. And of course, you know, the more you outgrow people, the more you will align with people who are more like minded. So just want to throw that out there. You know, you might have people here who don't resonate with your spiritual beliefs, uh, especially if you're a Leo going through a spiritual awakening this month. And if there are individuals here who are putting you down for it or are making you feel uncomfortable, you know, by all means, feel free to outgrow them as well, because 
You can't carry everybody with you as you're growing in this life. Now, we also have here Legends, right? Legends says, learn from those who inspire you. So coming into February 2023, you know, while you're going through all these changes, while something significant here is changing in your life, do not feel afraid to take inspiration from others that can add value or benefits to your path. If you are inspired by other people, feel free to, you know, take a look at what it is they do and build that inspiration and use that inspiration in your life. Inspiration is a very very beautiful thing and it is not something to be frowned upon but instead it is something to be embraced so just a quick message you know if there is anybody who inspires you definitely use that to your benefit definitely use that inspiration to do more good here in your life going forward okay all right though leo with that being said we're gonna hop on into the overall outcome and then i think we're good here so let's see the overall outcome here for leo sun moon rise and venus throughout February 2023. What's going to be the overall outcome here for Team Leo? And what do we have? We have here the Six of Wands and we have here the Knight of Wands. Hey, oh, I love that for you. First things first, let's talk about that Six of Wands. Six of Wands here is the card of success. So yes, you will be successful. Remember, this whole reading kind of started, it built upon the premise of, I don't know, I got this intuitive feeling that something in my life needs to change. And you know what? I think whatever is guiding me here is right. I think there has to be some change implemented. And you start to become very confident with this change, and you start to become very confident at the fact that it's going to work for you, and this is going to be the right thing for you to do. And over time, throughout the month here of February, you're only going to continue to get more confirmation that you made the right change, because you're going to start to see success coming in. You know, for example, if you've outgrown a certain circle of people who have kept you stuck, you're going to start to align with the right people and the right people that help you grow and that help you expand as a person. And then that's gonna be identified as success, right? You know, same thing with your career. Maybe you were stuck in a career that wasn't helping you grow your finances. Maybe you're, you know, you're switching up your career path. You've been getting this intuitive nudge for a while. You manifest and you dive into a new career. And guess what? You're learning more about making more money than you've ever learned before. So there will be success here and there will be tons of value and tons of learning that's coming in here for Leo's this month. And looking at the last card here, we have the six of wands, right? Now we also have here the Knight of Wands, which is talking about pursuing your passion and pursuing a path here that's really going to ignite the fire within you. So I love that for you. Success and igniting the fire within you, Leo, is what you can expect as the outcome of this month. So your passion is going to be reignited in an area in your life. You're going to start to feel the fire again. You're going to feel motivated and fired up to uh, be living your best life here. And I love this for you. And I love the success coming to you. And I love those moments of being intuitively nudged. <laughs> I talk about it a lot on my channel, but just your intuition, when it just nudges you and it pushes you in that direction and says, hey, just trust me, trust my, trust, you know, your intuition here. I'm giving you something that's going to be valuable to you. When you get that nudge and you follow through with it, everything always aligns and works out so perfectly. And it's truly an amazing experience to see and to have. So I'm super happy to see that for you, Leo. I'm stoked to see this for you. And uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed your video here for February 2023. If you are new to my YouTube channel and uh, you're interested in subscribing, feel free to. I'd be more than happy to invite you here into the Soul Family. But Leos, have a lovely and amazing rest of your February. And I will catch you all in the next video. Much love, Leo and have yourselves a good one. Peace.